this where this would be expected that you can do this without being distracted by talking to other students in class. So the, the main idea, guys, is you have two lines in this equation. Again, we're trying to identify if it's continuous or not and then describe the discontinuity. Um, so we basically have two lines here. Let's just go and graph 2x minus 1. So forget about the restriction for a second. Let's just graph y equals 2x minus 1. All right, so I go down, that's my y-intercept, up 2, over 1. And I can basically go in the positive direction, and I can go in the negative direction. So that is the graph. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the constraint. And the constraint says, I only want you to graph this equation for x values that are less than 0. So that means 0 is not defined. So therefore, I'm going to put a nice little open circle there. And then it's only for x values that are less than 0. Well, here's the x-axis. Here's the negative x values. Here's the positive x values, right? So x values that are less than 0 are only going to be to the left. That means I'm going to erase the rest of the graph that's in the positive for our positive x values. Anybody have any questions or clarifying questions there? Again, this is not a time that you should be looking at your calculator. It's just a time for you to be looking up here. I know the stimulation of electronics is very difficult for many of you to um, overcome. But if you need me to give you a different seat that you can go ahead and pay attention to, then I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. The next one is let's go ahead and graph negative x plus 3. This one has a different y-intercept, which is positive 3. And then we have a negative slope, so that's down into the right one or up into the left one. Either way, you guys are going to graph that looks something like that. We're not trying to be exact, guys, but what we want to recognize here is this is for only x values that are greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, it's going to be only for positive values. All right. Um, and then, yeah, it's supposed to cross at 3, so I'll just be able. But either way, you can look at this graph and say, is it continuous? Can I draw the graph without lifting my pen or marker off of the board? And the obvious answer is no, it is not continuous. So therefore, we say, well, then what type of discontinuity is it? And you can say that is a jump discontinuity at x is equal to 0. Right? And one thing we you guys remember, if there is going to be a discontinuity, if you have two functions that are continuous, that is a continuous line, that's a continuous line, right? They are restricted. But both of these functions are continuous, correct? So if there is going to be a discontinuity, where is that discontinuity going to occur? At the restriction change, right? It's the only thing that make, would make sense. Now, not always are we going to have continuous functions for each of the functions, but when we do, that's where it will occur, OK? All right.